Tell me about these pieces. Yes, they're, they go well together, don't they? This, this Buddha's head um, is actually part of a collection of three, and it's made from uh, paper pulp with asparagus fibres in it to give the texture. And it comes to us from the Netherlands, um, Ava Wilker's work. And, um, yeah, it, it's... It shows us, I think, how spiritual paper makers are. That they, they there's a lot of time for meditation in the very routine of making paper and yeah. processing the fibres and casting the paper. You have a lot of time to think about things, and, and paper makers are thoughtful people. And I think that comes out in in the work and, and where their <laughs> thoughts end up. So this piece here um, is by. Anita Brengens, who's um, a German artist who lives in the Netherlands, and she casts paper on most unusual things and gives them another presentation. So this old mincer, which many of us may remember using, clipped to the kitchen table and mincing meat on a Monday. And it's just so, she gives it this lightness and airiness, which she, she likes the movement, and, um, and it's very precise. And she actually has a scientific background, and it, I think it's so interesting how people's work is influenced by all their other interests and experience. Um, the little book? Uh, the little book is about shadows and very um, delicate cast paper suspended in a, a beautifully hand-stitched um, book form. Uh, Jean Mould Hart has, has a long history as being an embroiderer and textile artist and yeah. now works with paper and, and books and lives in Norfolk. So another representation of the international nature of paper making and paper artists and what a great community they are.